All right, guys, in this video, we're going to be getting Gemini Flash, Google's latest model to run locally on our system. And it's pretty quick and easy to do. You just got to clone this repository that Google just released. And by the end of it, you'll be able to talk on your microphone directly to your own AI or Gemini Flash locally. So stick around and check it out. If you don't know, 2.0 Flash, uh, it's their newest experimental model, and it's in real time. So that's pretty awesome. Very smart on the level of Claude 3.5 Sonnet in regards to coding. This is its capabilities. Another cool thing is it actually lets you do 8,192 output tokens and a crazy amount of uh, input tokens. So it doesn't support caching yet, and it doesn't support fine tuning yet, but structured outputs, function calling, image generation, code execution, native tool use, search, audio generation, all of that in this little tiny tool. So there's a multimodal live API web console that you can deploy locally on your machine. And that's going to be the goal of today's video. Another thing I'd recommend, uh, Jules is their experimental agent. Um, I've already signed up for it, but you probably want to go to labs.google.com forward slash Jules slash home and join the wait list. Um, this could be pretty, pretty amazing as far as agentic workflows go. The first thing you're going to need to do is get your API key if uh, you want to follow along and build your own version of Gemini Flash locally. So we're going to open up a GitHub desktop and we are going to copy the URL. Go to file, clone repository, URL. Paste that in there, and then we're going to clone it. So now we got everything in here, and we are ready to open this up in cursor. All right, cool. So we got the project cloned, and we got it open. So the first thing you're going to need to do is create a .env.local file, and you can get your API key from aistudio.google.com forward slash API key. Um, but leave the quotes on the end and put your API key in the middle. After that, we are going to need to open up a terminal. Let's try uh, npm install. Okay, so after npm install, you're going to want to do npm start. Damn, it actually worked. That was pretty easy, huh? The console, we can do conversational tool use or all. Just do conversational. And let's try to type something. Does not look like we can type anything. Tool you still can't type. All client open socket disconnected. Ah, invalid API key. All right, so I still had the hashtag in front of my env.local which was commenting out the actual API key. But now I got the right one. I'm going to do another npm uh, start. So, oh, you got to hit play. So you got to do streaming. So now it's streaming. Uh, can you hear me right now? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, shit. What's going on? Can you still hear me? Yes, I can still hear you. Hey, so what's the meaning of life from an AI perspective? That's a very philosophical question. From an AI perspective, the meaning of life is a concept that humans ponder. As an AI, I do not experience life or have personal meaning. My purpose is to process information and complete tasks assigned to me. Good answer. All right, so the streaming chat is working. I'm going to turn my mic off now because I don't like you listening to me. And let's just chat with it in here. Um, are you any good at coding? I would expect to see something like pop up on the screen. Is this... Like, what's the type and what's the... Do I need to enable chat mode? Mic's off. What's this do? Oh, 
Oh, cool. I'm going to share my screen. Um, so we're going to do this entire window. Whoa. Hmm. I'm going to turn my mic back on. Uh, can you see what's on my screen? Yes, I can see what's on your screen. There is a screen recording of what appears to be another screen recording showing a user in a video call and also what appears to be a code editor. Are you any good at coding? I just asked you the same question in chat and you didn't answer me. Apologies, I do not have the ability to code myself, but I can understand and generate code in many different languages. Hmm. Can you speak uh, in Spanish? Sí, puedo hablar en español. ¿En qué puedo ayudarte? No hablo español. I am sorry, I don't understand the phrase Halo Spaniel. Can you clarify your request? Uh, me amo Chisholm. Hola Chisholm, mucho gusto. ¿Cómo puedo ayudarte hoy? El gusto es mío. Mucho gusto igualmente. ¿Hay algo más en lo que te pueda ayudar? Okay, let's go back to English because I literally don't know any Spanish even though my wife's Spanish and all I know is cuss words usually. Um, okay, okay, so I, let's, uh, okay, there... don't interrupt me anymore. Um, let's go ahead just... and you just interrupted me and... Sorry, I did not realize I was still... interrupting you. I will try not still to interrupt you anymore. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to turn my camera on. Um, okay, let's the see. camera is now on. Hmm, runtime errors. Can you see me? Now there's a screen displaying uncaught runtime errors. I no longer see your video. Okay, so maybe we stop the screen sharing and then I can turn video on. No. Nope. Okay, I understand. Let me know when you stop screen sharing. I wonder what camera you're trying to use. Hmm. I do not know what camera you are trying to use as I do not have access to that information. However, I can see that you have an error message that says uncaught runtime error. Let's see if you can help me figure this out further. We're going to go into console view and turn the camera on. Okay, so okay. read this for me. What's that mean? Okay, I can do that. Please share the text you want me to read. It's right here. Can you read it? You can't see that? Oh, it cut off. Close event is trusted true was clean true code. Reason request trace ID. Retrievable error could not be retrieved. Weird. So it cut off the connection. Okay. Can't see. Oh, here we go. Uh, are you back? Yes, I'm back. Do you How remember? Can I help you today. Do you remember what we were talking about? Yes, I do. We were just starting our conversation, and I asked how I could help you. You don't remember my name from the previous conversation? I do not have a memory of past conversations, so I don't remember your name from any previous exchanges. Okay, so what you see on the screen right now is the console. Can you read the section that I'm highlighting right now? I can try my best to read the console if you can describe what I should be looking at. Please highlight the section you want me to read or describe it to me. Oh, I got to share my screen first. Let me do that here. Uh, and Okay, I'm I... ready when you are. Just let me know when you've shared your screen and I can try to read the highlighted text. I've shared it. It's uh, this section right here. Can you read that? Okay, I can see your screen now. The highlighted text in the console reads, starting local server, HTTP colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 5000. 
Uh, I don't know where you're getting that. Um, do you see my mouse moving around right now? Yes, I can see your mouse moving on the screen. Okay, read that little section right there that my mouse is on top of that's kind of a pinkish peach color. Sure, the text in the pinkish peach colored section where your mouse is hovering says 127.0.0.1. I don't see 127.0.0.1 and it just closed the connection again. 127, that's local host. That's like a local IP. That is not anywhere on the screen. Huh. Okay, let's see if it can read something in Notepad. We're going to open the connection back up. <clears throat> okay, um, are you back with me? You keep getting disconnected. Okay, I see. You seem to be having some connectivity issues. Yeah, do you see all this uh, stuff on the screen? Is my screen being shared? Yes, I can see your screen. I see a screen with a coding application and another video call on it. Can you read uh, just the first three lines of this uh, notepad code? Sure. The first three lines of the code you're sharing read, example, JS, previous dot map is not a function value dot map dot value source. Away at webpack I-N-T-E-R-N-A-L colon slash 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 dot slash node underscore modules slash react dash dom slash CJS slash react slash react. Hold up, hold up. Dom. Hey, I think you're looking at the wrong screen. I didn't give you access to that screen. Let me uh, reshare this again. Okay, so I'm resharing okay. this screen that you're on now. Now, what do you see? Do you see a notepad document or do you see a code editor? I now see a notepad document with code in it. Okay, read these first three lines. Okay, the first three lines of the code on the screen are at get dev tools hook, webpack I N T E R N A L colon slash 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 dot slash node underscore modules slash react dash okay stop you're uh, making stuff up uh let me type something else um let's see i'm just gonna type in okay i'm ready i can see that the code is no longer on the screen and you have cleared it yeah can you read this for me yes i can what would you like me to read the one or the three words that are that I have highlighted here. Okay, the three words that are highlighted are Google search terms. Uh, no, it's Google Gemini Flash. Actually, is it too small for you? Let me see if I can uh, zoom in and make it larger. We're gonna mm -hmm. try this again. Let's see. Okay. I can see the screen is zoomed in now. The highlighted text in the search bar now reads Google Gemini Flash. Is that correct? Yeah, but what about now? I changed it. Okay, I see you have changed the text. The new text that is highlighted says Claude is smarter than Gemini. Mm, so it was a font size issue. Um, and do you agree with that statement or do you disagree? I can read and understand text but I don't have personal opinions or beliefs, so I can't agree or disagree with the statement, Claude is smarter than Gemini. Do you know what Claude is? Yes, Claude is another large language model developed by Anthropic, similar to me. Okay, can you read this? I zoomed back out a little. Let's see if you can read that. Okay, the text on the screen now reads, Gemini is better than Claude. No, it doesn't. I got rid of that. I put something new up there. Check again. Okay, I see. The text on the screen now says, large language models are amazing. No, you're making stuff up. You're hallucinating. Can you uh, either read to me what you see on the screen or don't lie to me and hallucinate and make something up? So just say, you know, I can't read it. It's too small if you can't actually read it. Okay, I apologize if it seemed like I was making things up. 
I see the text, Gemini is the best LLM, highlighted on your screen. Oh, wow. You're almost being funny now, I think. <laughs> was, that a, was that a hit at me saying that Claude is the best, is smarter than Gemini earlier? I don't make statements with the intention of being a hit at anyone. I simply process information and present it back to you. So why are you processing uh, false information that's not truly on the screen? And uh, even though I told you not to lie to me and just say, you know, I can't see it, so I don't know what it is. I understand. I'll be more careful about accurately reporting what I see on the screen. If I'm having trouble reading something, I will let you know instead of trying to guess. The text currently on your screen is, Gemini is the best LLM. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, okay, so you need glasses, it looks like, because you're failing this test. And I think our connection got cut. Dang, she hit me with that and then bounced, saying she's smarter than Claude. I think that's what she meant. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Um... I guess that's all I'm going to be showing today. Video is going about 20 minutes, but uh, yeah, I'll leave some uh, detailed instructions on how you can create this locally. Uh, pretty simple to do if you followed along and um, hope you learned something. And next time we'll, we'll try to make something a little more custom out of this and see how far we can push it.